can you draw the shape of this molecule? So for xenon difluoride, we can start by considering how many electrons are in xenon's outer shell. We'll take the simplified approach and say it's in group zero, so eight. Now, when forming covalent bonds, these fluorines, yes, they have seven electrons already. They want one more, so they're going to contribute one electron each to the covalent bond, making that two electrons contributed in total. Now to find out the electron pairs, we divide that by two, and that tells us that there are five electron pairs around this central xenon atom. Now, when we have five electron pairs, of course, our shape is based on a trigonal bipyramid. So one up, one down, and then three around the middle, which I'll show like this. So the solid wedge coming out towards you, the dash wedge going away. But there are only two fluorines, which means that only two of these are bonding pairs, making the other three lone pairs. Lone pairs repel more than bonding pairs do. So in order to get them as far away from each other as possible, we are going to choose these three positions around the middle. And so we end up with the kind of underwhelming shape of linear. But with xenon being a noble gas, how does this compound even exist to begin with? Let me know in the comments. Follow me for more chemistry content like this.